So now we're into a phase where we can't do any buffing. It's currently wind element. Um, just to show how much we can't do any buffing. What a cheap buff. I'm going to be queuing heals in... Uh, here we go. He does this as a counter to any buff move that you do. Um, I'm going to be queuing heals in every turn that I can't get an advantage through a... a magic attack of the right element. Um, and then we're just going to combo him to death, basically because combo's really good still. Um, I'm pretty sure it gives you the equivalent of a perfect with an appropriate uh, damage boosting item. This time he's Earth. For Earth you use Wind, so I can't really exploit that. I'll throw the extra uh, damage on anyway, because it's not that expensive. So the, the only defensive effect you get the benefit of is GC. So if you had a build where you could quickly recover a lot of GC, um, it might be worth it, but you can do that. Note the vast discrepancy in total HPs, though. Like, these characters are all at the same level, but um, times on nearly 5,000 HP. Times on nearly 5,000 HP, where Ming and Sarah are on barely 2,000. And there's also this manipulate business, which is a bit of a pain. All it does, as far as I can tell, is. Um, like, I can't issue any commands to Ming now, and. Um, she will do random. Uh, attacks on me and heal the boss. I'm hoping that's all it comes to. She definitely has spells that could fuck me up. Lasted, I think, three turns? perfect reses, so I shall use those. Um, I keep queuing these heals, and I'm not sure I'm actually getting the use out. Note that your heal alls will still heal the possessed party member. That's not what I wanted to see. In fact, that's pretty much specifically the worst thing that uh, she could have done, given that she doesn't have um, Ming doesn't have a level 2 poison there we go then, 3 um, right, you're taking over healing duties because she's moderately ahead on MP Who's going to get manipulated this time? That's okay, as long as it's on casters. I keep 
expecting Gongoro to exploit the fact that I've got zero GC more, but he's not. And it's another thing that's making this fight feel very staged. Like, the guy has abilities that would wipe me out. Uh, but he's not using them. Also, he's turned slow somehow. Like, he's casting at the end of the phase rather than the beginning of it. He's water element uh, against water. Is it ground against water? Hang on. Where's the spell list? <laughs> Water against fire, fire against wind, wind against... yeah, so... This one... There we go. Here we go! This could be very unpleasant. Eh, it wasn't as bad as we suspected. That's bad though. I don't like that at all. That's what I get for taking a risk on not healing for a turn. Right, you two make amends for your oversight, please. Oh, don't do this. That's very, very bad. Although at least she doesn't get an action this turn, so my heals will go off. Because unlike the healers, Seth can do damage with an ordinary physical attack. Um, Uh, what's your... you're currently water. Let's get some damage in this turn. What's weird is I'm not seeing Seth's actions in the turn order. Um, or a camera angle will let me see if she's in the middle of casting. She is! Okay, she can cast weak heals on the boss, I don't mind that. Fire. That's another one that I can exploit. So I'm guessing that... No, those actions are happening during the turn order. Um... Showing up in the turn order. Sure, kill the character you had mind controlled. Good work, Nagora. And then what? Win. So I can't do much to that, but also he's nearly dead. Um. So I suspect it takes a bit more than the three-ish thousand that this will do to finish him off, but you never know. <coughs> hey. 
Well, I guess not then. Here we go. So, oh, I should have added at the start the grinding that I did, which was worth 10 average party levels, maybe more, um, took only a, a few hours because um, of the way leveling in this game is designed. And we have this very hammily a animated death sequence that I don't really understand. Um, And then this happens. And this is where I stop my test run, so I don't really know what's going on here. But, like, no power that has previously been mentioned in the story has any interest in the, um... in the, uh, maintenance of this bubble. Um, I think the idea is that they're trapped in a field of, of accelerating time. Jansen, still not an honourable man. Oh! 
I mean, he can't die either, particularly while this thing is blocked. Is this a trap he set? Oh, of course. He can turn it to his advantage. This scene would work so much better if he wasn't just constantly gurning all the time. Oh, that's really, that's really well thought out. The fact that their way out is so much a symbol of, not just of Seth, but of his relationship to Seth. And I think it works, you know, it, 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 I can think of better options, but I think it works that it's Seth who has to sacrifice herself. Um, she said is old and will die soon. She's the one with the least to remain in this world for. I suppose in, in one way that makes this the, the cheapest ending, but at least they didn't make it Jansen. Can we actually get out of here? Something of Ming's is resonating with the broken mirror to power up the ship. Huh? 
事だよ。間違いありませんまあまあ近くにいるのかSo the Hall of Mirrors is imploding. This means it's a nice aesthetic change of pace. And lifting off. There's still a lot of kind of unanswered lorey questions. I'm not sure they're valuable, but they are unanswered about how that thing came to be. Oh, shut up, Jansen. Really? I mean, it means she's gonna die eventually. It's not the same as dying, though. So we've not gone straight to the credits, but there aren't a lot of characters left for the party to interact with besides each other. And the problem with this format for the for the denouement is that it keeps being interrupted by really long load times. ことになるのでしょうか。それでも私は感情に揺れる。この心を大事にしていきたいのです。なぜなら感情があったからこそ私はカイムを愛したと思うから。この思いを否定したくはないのです。そしてイルムが残したクックとマック。あの子たちは掛けがえのないたからものです。
今はカイムと4人ディルムのあの家で過ごしていますごく普通の生活が毎日の些細なことが楽しくて仕方がありませんカイムは国王に戻ったトルタンやミンから共に政治を手伝ってほしいと言われたのを断って広い農地を買いましたあえて平凡な日常を選んで近くの農家と交流しながら、ね、すごいのを作っています,す,す私ですか私は The king could have just looked better all along, although the children's outfits are still a riot of terrible taste. I think the long loads are only when you load a new environment. Oh, good grief, what is that outfit? That matter, what are the kids' outfits? What are all these outfits? <laughs> This is the Numara Palace. I think that's a still with some birds flying in front of it. Which would be one way to cut down on load times if it wasn't for the fact that it would be immediately followed by 10 seconds of load. What? So who's the procession for then? Oh god, oh no, it's not going to be the wedding, is it? Oh, eat shit, game. Like, actually die in a fire. I think the the lady in like Ming's chief lady in waiting is the most prominent side character surviving. Unless the King of Co Goats is still around somewhere. Ming Numara, Yansen Frito Totoshi, Ain no Ayo Chikauya. The for all eternity there is. Chikaimas. Jansen. Oh my god, get on with it. It's violent enough as it is. 
I like that that's clearly the same kiss animation as was from the scene on the boat. What's he seen? Is anyone else seeing this? You are the great mama. Antamo, meet the great in the row. 